December 27th Current Affairs 2017 Samsung Access Bank tie up to offer bill payments on Samsung Pay SLC and ties up with HDFC Indus in Bank for Post Harvest Credit World Bank to provide $318 million loan for Tamil Nadu irrigation projects Uttar Pradesh introduces power scheme to mark Vajji's birthday BJP leader Jaram Thacker sworn in as Himachal Pradesh's sixth chief minister Saudi Arabia hosts World Chess Games Commercial flight not for made in India plane Smartphone manufacturer Samsung launched its bill payments on its flagship payment service Samsung Pay in partnership with Access Bank. The new feature launched by the company will enable users to pay their utility bill seamlessly via Samsung Pay's secure and convenient platform. Since the launch of Samsung Pay, we have constantly innovated and added user-centric features such as UPI, wallets, gift cards and now bill payments. With the introduction of bill payments, consumers will be able to pay their utility bill seamlessly through Samsung Pay, set reminders and search favorite biller based on their current location. Agri Service Solutions Provider Sohanlal Commodity Management SLCM, having operations across India and Myanmar has tied up with HDFC Bank BSE and Indus in Bank BSE to provide collateral management services. This tie-up will not only help improve the farmer's access to post-harvest credits at affordable interest rates, it will also provide easy access to scientific storage facilities leading to a fair price discovery of their produce in the market. The World Bank will provide a $318 million loan for modernization of irrigation projects in Tamil Nadu and help small and marginal farmers improve water management and adopt climate-resilient techniques. The project will also help increase market opportunities for small and marginal farmers. About 500,000 farmers, of which a majority are small and marginal, are expected to benefit from improved and modernized tank irrigation systems. Uttar Pradesh has launched a free household power connection scheme for the poor in the state to mark former Prime Minister Adil Bihari Vajji's birth anniversary. The government has a target of covering 16 million by 2018 and Driven by Yogi Adityanath government's motto Prakash Hai to Vikasai, the barometer of development is light. The government has also introduced Kazan Uda Yojana, a novel scheme for farmers. Bharatiya Janata Party leader Jaram Thakur took oath as the chief minister of Himachal Pradesh. The swearing-in ceremony of the five-time BJP MLA from C. Rai constituency is taking place at the historic Ridge Maidan in Shimala in the presence of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Raynath Singh. Thacker was elected to lead the state after the party's chief ministerial candidate Prem Kumar Dummel failed to register a win from his constituency. It will be for the first time that a prime minister will attend an oath-taking ceremony in the Hill State. Saudi Arabia is hosting a world chess tournament for the first time nearly two years after the country's top cleric issued a religious edict against playing the board game. Saudi Arabia's top cleric, Grand Mufti Sheikh Abdulaziz Al Sheikh, in early 2016 that chess is forbidden in Islam because it wastes time and can lead to rivalry among players. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation DGCA, has allowed Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, manufactured Dornier 228 to be used for civilian flights. The 19-seater aircraft has been used by Defense Forces and is the first plane to be made in the country for commercial flight. The DGCA has given type certification to this aircraft and also given the Certificate of Airworthiness to HAL's Dornier 228. HAL can sell this plane to airlines in India and it can be used by them for regional flights under the Modi's government's ambitious UDAN scheme. <laughs>